Today we're going to play with Play-Doh. Oh, what's this? It looks like a Play-Doh machine, but it looks like a stapler too. Oh, look at that. There's two colors. And you can play with it if you're at least three years old. It says it right here. How cool about the two colors though. You can see how this girl is playing with the machine that looks like a stapler. And this boy? What's he making? A worm? Hmm. And here it explains how you use it. It looks really fun. You know what? I think I'm going to open the box. I can't wait any longer. Let's see where we open it. Right here. There we go. Well, it looks pretty simple. There's nothing to put together. Here we've got the Play-Doh machine. And these are the containers of Play-Doh. And these must be the molds we can use to make stuff out of it. Look, you, you can see them here. We've got one there. We've got a circle and other shapes like this star. Let's see how this machine works. Hmm. We'll put this mold here. Let's move these containers of Play-Doh out of the way. By the way, I haven't told you what the colors are. Look, this is turquoise. Do you see? It's like a bluish green. And this other one, this one's orange. And if we mix the two colors, will it come out in two colors like the picture on the box? Why don't we try it? Let's see. I'll open it this way. I'm going to put one of the molds on. What do you say we start with an easy one? Like the circle, for example. There we go. We've got to put it in the middle. I'm going to get a little bit of the turquoise Play-Doh. Just like this. I think that much will work. And now we need to get a little bit of the orange Play-Doh because we want to see how the two colors work. Great, I think that much works. And we'll put them just like this side by side. All right, and I think we put it here. Let's turn the machine around so you can see it better. Do you see? We put the Play-Doh right here. It doesn't matter if you squish it a little bit. All right. So now we push it down into the machine. And now you start pressing down. Just as if it were a stapler. And look, the Play-Doh is starting to come out already. See? I'm not sure if it's two colors or one. Hmm, I think we could use a knife to cut this. Do you see a knife? Where? Here on top? I don't think so. Let's see. I'm going to turn it around. Well, we have this extra Play-Doh left over. Let's see if there's a little knife. Hey! Here it is. This little red knife is really going to come in handy because now I'm going to cut the Play-Doh to show you how it turned out. Hey, look! It did come out in two colors. Look at it. There's some orange Play-Doh and some turquoise Play-Doh or blue or green, however you see it. How funny that everyone sees turquoise differently, right? Well, with this bicolor Play-Doh, we're going to make something with one of those molds because this machine also has three different molds. It has a butterfly, a face that's kind of an emoticon that's smiling, and we also have a car. What do you say we invite someone to come see it? Of course, we don't even need to invite her. She's already come on her own. Hi, Anna. What are you doing here? Frozen is really far away. Oh, you heard that we have an amazing machine that makes Play-Doh churros? Well, stay here and we'll show you how it works. And your sister, has she come too? Hey, Elsa. Elsa wasn't gonna miss this. Elsa, do you want to see how it works too? Well, listen. If you want, I'll put you here, and I'll put Anna here too, so that you can be close to your sister. That way you can see better. Look, I'm gonna show you how it works. We take the Play-Doh, and since we already have this, we don't need to get more. We'll just use what we have here. 
I'm gonna get a separate piece of this and squish it a little bit. And we'll also get a little bit of the orange Play-Doh too. We'll put them together. And then like we did before, we'll put it in the hole. Let's see, let's bring the machine closer so that you can see it better. Our little Play-Doh factory. So we push it down into this little hole and I'll turn it around so that you can see what happens. Since we've made the circle already, what do you say we make a star? Yeah, the girls from Frozen love stars, especially Elsa. Look, we're gonna press here and ta-da! A Play-Doh churro comes out. <laughs> this one also came out bi-colored. Since we used what we already had from before, you don't notice the difference as much. It's turning a little bit greener. Let's cut it here with our special knife. And now we have our Play-Doh churro. See how easy it is? Then after, we can make a mold with the Play-Doh. What do you say we make a butterfly, for example? We're gonna put the Play-Doh in the mold. Well, this butterfly looks a bit odd, almost like a bat. <laughs> Let's squish it a little bit more so it looks more like a butterfly. Just like that. Oh, I think I put a little bit too much Play-Doh. Our butterfly is gonna turn out a little strange. <laughs> well, there we go, our butterfly bat. Yours will definitely turn out better than mine. Now I'm gonna make the car. We'll put some Play-Doh here. I think this one's gonna turn out much better. Oh, look how fast it goes. Well, I think it's pretty clear how you use the Play-Doh machine. My favorite thing is that there are so many molds and now we can try it with a different one. Elsa, imagine that we can make spaghetti out of Play-Doh. Whoa, let's see what we can come up with. We're gonna take this other mold that we haven't used yet. Let's see. We'll squish the Play-Doh down a little bit and then get the other mold. <gasps> Look, it's got three little circles. How will it turn out? Well, let's put it over here. And remember, the shape you want to use has to be in the middle. And now we press down. <laughs> Giant spaghetti comes out. <laughs> let's cut it and do you know what we could do with this? We can make a braid. You can make a lot of things actually. It's like a snake. <laughs> Look, see, I'm gonna braid these and there it is. A green braid, do you see it? Well, let's use one of the other molds. Mm, we'll put it here and now we'll get one with the small circles. Look, <laughs> it comes out like regular spaghetti. We'll cut this down a little bit. Do you know what I just thought of, Elsa? This could be hair, you'll see. I'm gonna make you a wig made out of Play-Doh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Anna, don't laugh, she looks great. Look how original it is. When you guys go to a costume party, you can wear it. And it's cool because you can make one with other colors too. Well kids, it's time for me to go. I'm gonna leave Elsa and Anna to play here with our little Play-Doh factory, but remember, before you go, you must subscribe to the Tate Toys channel so that you can hear all about all of our new videos.